Hello and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. How do you deal with the troublesome people in your life? Have you got a rival perhaps? Have you always wished you were a little bit more like a ninja? If so, then here's five things I think you need to know about tiny ninjas. Tiny Ninjas from Two Inverse Games is a game for two players in which you represent rival dojos. The aim of the game is to take out the enemy player before getting taken out yourself. And if you're curious to see what it looks like inside the box, you should check out my unboxing video. Mechanically speaking, this is a dice chucker with a very important push your luck element. On your turn, you'll play cards. Each card has an attack value, a defense value, and oftentimes a special ability. Um, when you play a card, it determines what type of dice you roll against your opponent, and they also get a chance to defend. Now, the twist here is, is that you can play as many cards as you like to attack your opponent with. However, you don't draw a new hand up until your following turn, meaning you might want to hold on to some cards to act as defense. So the push your luck element is often sometimes the difference between life and death. Similar games to Tiny Ninjas. Well, if you want to focus on the push your luck element, you have to think about something like Celestia. Or if you want to think of a good dice chucker, you might think of something like Dice of Pirates. However, this is the first game I've seen that combines both together and it does a really good job of it. Setup is non-existent because you play the game inside the box. Um, like the box actually opens up into a dice chucking arena in which there's room for life counters and decks of cards. To be fair, it's all kinds of amazing. Um, the rule book is actually really fun and informative and I think the player cards are incredibly helpful and useful. Um, it takes about 15 minutes for two players to play. Well, it's a two player only game, um, but that really depends on the wiliness of your opponent. And there's such a huge variety of ninjas within the box that it gives it a lot of longevity and replayability. Aesthetics wise, this game is adorable. Um, it's incredibly well thought out and very well made. I love the cover art and I love the art on the cards and I think it takes it to a really fun and endearing place. So, what's so special about Tiny Ninjas? I think it has to be the sheer amount of ninjas they packed into the small box. Okay, so how do I really feel about Tiny Ninjas? Firstly, the negatives. I don't really have any negatives to level at this game, but you will be disappointed if you're looking for something more than a kind of a fun and engaging experience. This isn't a heavy game. So the positives. This is a very small but very smart game and I love that about it. The push your luck mechanism forces you to make tough decisions repeatedly, making this much more than a game about rolling dice. Secondly, its portability is kind of incredible and this is no shoddy little arena you're building. This is really sturdy stuff and I think that's amazing to be able to bring your game and really play it anywhere. Um, finally, you know what, I'll be honest, I had a hell of a lot of fun with this game and I wasn't anticipating that. Um, it really is quite exciting. Um, I love the variety within the cards, each with their own art and unique way to win. You know, what's not to love? So, do I think you should have Tiny Ninjas in your collection? Well, if you want something for two players that's fun, light, engaging, but still gives you kind of interesting decisions, then you'd be mad not to check it out. I had so much fun with Tiny Ninjas and I think other people will too. You've been watching Board Game Inquisition. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any comments or queries you'd like to make about Tiny Ninjas, why not leave a comment below? I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you'd like to do something nice, why not, you know, like or subscribe or maybe tell people this channel exists because, you know, that'd be amazing. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.